much do you think about last year's playoff loss as you get ready to face this? I mean, we've, we've played them uh, last year. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, you, you think about, like, obviously, like, the outcome of, like, last year and how, how that went, but also, like, you know the team. I mean, you, they have a lot of returning players, and um, but we have a lot of film on them and, you know, just want to know how's the game plan. Is it more like you feel like you're home? Is it revenge? How do you, how do you, how do you it's all about winning the game, to be honest with you. Just personally, just winning this game, want to know. Let's go. Tyler, how do you and your ankle feel after Tampa? Good, good. Everything's good. Good to go. Um, playoff football, though, so excited. Defense of San Francisco, obviously one of the best in the league statistically. Mm -hmm. What's what's the big challenge there? Execute the game plan and um, uh, dominate the line of scrimmage. What stands out about what Nick Bost is able to do? Um, definitely an explosive player. Um, definitely, uh, you know, respect his game. Um, but definitely going to have a, our eye on him and have a good game plan for him going forward. And um, but yeah, we have you know meetings coming up here, um, so it'll be good. You anticipate um, more changes on the offensive line from last year starting unit after what? I'm um, I'm honestly not sure. We haven't had our first meeting yet, so we'll know then. I'm sure. What's your mental mindset going into a game where it's one to go home? Excuse me. What is your mental mindset going into a game where it's, I mean, it's, it's all the stakes on the table? I mean, it's the same thing as last week. I mean, you just want to know. You know, we, you you know, it's win or go home, and that's that's playoff football. So. What's it said about your offensive line that you guys in the you know, middle of that Tampa game had to make changes and and nothing fell off, and all year long it's been kind of that thing of you know. From game one, yeah. just guys have, have gone out and people have filled in. I think it's just resilience and then discipline at the same time. You know, we have, you know, however the line uh, shifts, um, but having the discipline to know that shift and know that spot, like, you know, that's huge. Like Tyler Smith going from left guard to left tackle and then Connor McGovern coming back in at left guard and having that transition, but a smooth transition where there was no, uh, you know, decline any any way upon like switching a position but that's that's tough uh, in a mental mindset going from like a like a guard to a tackle like mid game or mid possession like but just knowing and like that was the first thing I told Tyler was just like your left tackle now like just focus all on left tackle and everything like that going into halftime and um but no it was a you know great you know obviously you don't want the adjustment but it was a great adjustment by our guys and stepping up big and but yeah resilient and disciplined. Did you tell Dak was poised to have a game like that heading, heading into it? Is he just the same every week? And, and I mean, he, he's that? he's resilient every week. Um, you know, however the out outcome is, he's the same guy every single week. Um, there is no um, his his persona every week coming in is always the same Dak every single week. So, um, but uh, you know, he had a great game, and um, you know, kept, the thing is just keep him clean in the pocket. So. How do you repeat last week's performance, especially from a penalty standpoint, only two? I mean, that's just the name of the game. I mean, you don't want to beat yourself. And I think, um, you know, McCarthy's done a great job of uh, um, talking to us about penalties and how they can affect our games. And um, But we know the damages of also, like, we're playing the opponent. We're not, we don't want to play ourselves any more than, um, you know, how penalties can affect the game, so. Appreciate it.